What I'd like to do is demonstrate some of the factors that we had to deal with with Beth as we're trying to help her brace to have a normal running gait. First thing I want you to do, Beth, is bring your right foot up into dorsiflexion for me. Don't let me push it down. Show how strong that is. Turn it out this way for me. Don't let me push it in. Turn it in this way for me. Don't let me push it out, okay? Now, try to bring this foot up. I mean, she gets just a little motion, but it doesn't really move. Can you bring it out to the outside a little bit? So she's got a little bit of eversion, but when, and her strength has gotten pretty good with that. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> try to bring it in. <laughs> and she gets almost no motion inward or in dorsiflexion. So we're dealing with nearly a complete foot drop. Very little intrinsic strength of that. Now the next thing you're gonna see is because during time she's had to lift this hip, bring this hip off the table, don't let me push down, very strong. Bring this one off the table, don't let me push down. She's got great hip flexion strength because she's been compensating for that foot dragging by using lifting this hip. But what you see is that the lower leg is smaller because she doesn't have a normal push off. And I can tell you that since she's been in the brace, this leg has gotten a lot bigger because she's using it a lot more normally. Mm -hmm. So it was very much smaller before, but it's still a little bit smaller, but you see good development of thighs and hips that's fairly equal because of more normal running form and walking form. So the other factor we were dealing with with Beth was to try to balance that she has a leg length difference. So if you look at the medial malleolus on this angle and the one on this one, there's about a two centimeter difference. So that's a pretty large correction that we had to account for because if we didn't account for that, we couldn't level her in the shoe even if we had the right brace. Okay, so that's the first measure we're making. Now she lies very level now at her pelvis, but before she had the correction, she would make a shift in her pelvis. That was a Now the other things that we check, if you don't mind rolling over toward me, okay, I know that's not a comfortable table, but we check hip strength. So bring this off the table for me and don't let me push down, hold strong. Great strength there. If you don't mind rolling the opposite direction for me. And the bring this off the table for me, don't let me push down, okay. So now she's developed excellent hip strength, which was very weak when she first started. So using the brace has allowed her to get back to where she has normal strength in her pelvis, which controls her running form so that she doesn't have abnormal shifts in her upper body.